hi i i guess hello what's up how are you doing lads uh new day new video um obviously yesterday's video if you did see that was quite different to what i've put out before so if you haven't seen that i guess just catch up on what's gone on over the last 24 hours it's been getting quite a lot of like attention i guess across the scene so let's just forget about it we're going to talk about it later on twitch okay twitch.tv forward slash drew fortune one what a fucking segue man just insta plug later on we're going to be on twitch uh we're not taking requests as we normally do ironically we're going to be talking about everything that's gone over the last 24 hours so if you're interested uh, it's not going to be like a big drama field episode it's just going to be questions that people have been asking me i want to like tie up some loose ends and that's pretty much it back to my normal self as you guys should know me i'd like to think this is how i normally approach my videos and i don't like to be negative but yesterday was a little bit different today we're checking out humanity's last breath with our new single that came out yesterday it's called linger i've heard both singles from the album so far it's going to be a lot of fun ashen is available on august 4th i'm very excited we're going to check out the full album when it does drop but for now we're going to check out this single drop a like on the video make sure you're subbed to the channel and let's go So many layers already. I'm going to be pausing as well because normally I do talk over and people are like, Drew, why are you talking over the music? Because obviously I've got the thing to like duck my mic audio. Some people like it, some people don't. But for this video, I'm going to try this. So anyone who gives out to me about fucking ducking my mic audio, if you complain now that I have to pause it to speak, because otherwise I have to try and like scream over everything, which I'm not going to do. So sorry we paused it already. I'm going to bring it back. I know. If you, if you, Sounds like we're veering into that orchestral element side of things again, which was huge on and still. I posted a video on TikTok and they obviously used the Bulgarian folklore uh, choir side of things in that mix, but obviously it was actually an artist that, it wasn't a sample, put it that way. It wasn't a sample that they used. They actually got someone to sing it for them. I guess it was specifically for the video, but that was really interesting. And to me, anything like choir related or I guess the example that they have in their video with the Bulgarian folklore, that to me just adds such a, oh, it's such a fucking creepy, eerie feel. And again, it brings that feel of the world ending. For some reason, when you have a choir and heavy music, it just feels like the world is collapsing around you. Like it already sounded like the world was collapsing around you, but if they even go into this kind of like eerie choir style that, sounds like it's the early part of that coming in i could be completely wrong but it just even that overall feel just is so fucking good I love about Buster's production as well is that these upper or the higher end uh, sounds that you're hearing in the mix if not produced correctly can absolutely rip your ear your fucking eardrums out of your head so what's so good about Buster's production is that he can go that high and it feels so much higher as well because the guitars are naturally tuned so low across the rest of the mix when they do go into these like distorted upper end sounds where it gets really really high and screechy 
it can be a real fucking earache to listen to if not done correctly. So again, props to Buster. Goes without saying at this point, there's been very few, if any, pieces of work that Buster's been involved with that hasn't sounded great. So again, shouts to Buster, but it goes without saying at this point. Okay, so we've just ended up at the course. I don't really understand what's just happened for the last two minutes, but that is generally the case with a lot of Humanity's Last Breath tracks that are less groove oriented and more about, again, that like end of the world feel, which was very much so the contrast that I found between Instill and the first track, which I completely forget the name of. But the first track that they dropped off of this album cycle was way groovier than Instill. So on a first listen, the first track was definitely a lab labyrinthian. That track was so much easier to like groove with and it was a lot more accessible from a first listen whereas it still drops down and although it was very fun to react to on stream it took me quite a while to really get into it because there's so much more nuance to the sound so this track from what i'm hearing so far again we could get like a groovier breakdown at the end but this track so far has been what sounds like a clusterfuck of noises to me right now but i know for a fact just based on my previous experiences with humanity's ass breath that again it's an acquired taste that you really have to allow yourself to like flow into so i am giving them the benefit of the doubt right now but it's been two minutes in i have no idea how this song has been structured so far it's been like so chaotic vocals coming in kind of like sporadically there's been obviously the massively down-tuned guitars there's been the dissonant high notes which i already touched on which are produced very very cleanly but it is a bit of a mess if you don't really like know where you are it's kind of like being blindfolded thrown into a maze and it's only after you've kind of completed the maze where you can walk back through it without the blindfold that you kind of understand where you've come from. So to play off of that analogy, I need to kind of be, I need the blindfold taken off, AKA I need to listen to this a few more times already because I'm already kind of lost. But it sounds like we have like a chorus structure building here. That was a chorus structure building here. Sorry, I forgot my mic isn't doing the ducking thing. So you probably didn't hear that, but yeah. logo goes hard is that it surely not no we're going again well we're going again Eyes forced open again. If I'm not mistaken, that was a lyric in the last track in Still. So there's a little Easter egg for you. Boom. Okay. First listen. First listen. Full transparency as always first listen to this new track is that it doesn't feel as much of a single as labyrinthian and instilled it in saying that it does just feel like an album track because it doesn't feel like it differentiates itself that much from the likes of instill it had that same kind of vibe honestly the track started to take a bit more of a, like a 
traditional song structure towards the second half after that two minute mark where the chorus came in i believe but up until two minutes i was kind of like lost completely so again i have to listen a few more times but uh, i guess i'll listen a few more times and then maybe talk about it a little bit on stream tonight as well so right now this is again normally i'd pause the video and go back and you know break down the different points but i think this is just one of those tracks that feels like an album track for me where it will make a little bit more sense based on how it's placed in the album but not a bad single overall i think this to me is probably the weakest single just because we've gotten such a variety with the two singles that we've gotten so far and this one doesn't really differentiate itself that much from the two we've gotten so far but not a bad track overall again buster's production is obviously always crisp the overall instrumentals and everything is just fucking wild so unique but also follows that somewhat kind of fatiguing structure that's all can go into at times but not a bad track overall i'm gonna give this a s oh man i'll give it a 7.8 for now Um, i don't think it differentiates itself enough from the other two tracks we've heard it's not a bad thing but i do think it has scope to be better when i've listened to it a few more times and also then with the context of the album behind it but yeah that's all for me guys again see you on twitch later on 1 p.m est 6 p.m irish time i'm spitting all over the fucking screen here right now sorry my mouth's a bit dry yeah leave a like in the video if you did enjoy let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below i'm signing out look after yourselves see you in the next one cheers